Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to CDS Kiosk, a lightweight web application developed by the UPU to give the general public and companies the ability to capture their own customs declaration data for EMS, letters and parcels. This helps save time when sending goods at the post office counter. CDS Kiosk is one of two solutions developed by the UPU for this purpose, the other being the Customs Declarations Android app. You can find some background information in the description below this video, including where to find the Customs Declarations Android app video tutorial, how to access CDS Kiosk or embed it in your own website, how to set up Google Maps for CDS Kiosk to help with address auto completion in your local CDS environment. Note that the Google Maps feature is enabled for you in cds.post. OK, let's get started. We begin by filling in the details of the sender. First, we need to enter the name of the sender. We can optionally add a telephone number and email address. Next, we'll complete the address information. You can see that as we start to type the first line of the address, CDS Kiosk offers address suggestions. If we select one of the options, the other address fields are filled in for us. We can overwrite these if needed. Now we will click Next and move on to the recipient details. We complete these in exactly the same way as the sender details. Next we're going to specify the details of the content. Don't worry if all the details aren't quite right yet. You'll have the chance to come back and update the declaration before you submit it. In this example, we are sending some chocolate as a gift. We want to send it quickly, so we're going to send it as an EMS item. First, we need to check the EMS option up here and select gift as the type of goods. In the description, we specify the details of the goods. The description can be in English, French or the language of the country. When we add a new description, any applicable HS codes or harmonised system codes, which are the standard codes used by customs authorities, are proposed for us to choose from. Finally, we add the item value and weight. If customs restrictions are available for the countries and goods specified, an icon shows in the first column. You can hover over the icon to see details of restrictions which apply. By default, we can specify up to three items in the list of goods. If we need to add more, we can simply click on the plus sign here. When all the goods are added, click next and move to the confirmation page. We will enter the security code to prove we're not a robot, then click confirm and continue. If needed, we can also go back at this point to review the declaration and make any changes. The final step is to print the CN23 and attach it to the item. If you don't have a printer available, you can also download the PDF to print later or write down the declaration ID to take with you to the post office. We're now ready to take the item to the post office counter for sending. 